Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an office. This tutorial is meant to go hand in hand with a skyscraper that I made on the channel recently. However, this can also be adapted into any other building as long as it's big enough. This office has a drink area, a secretary desk, two cubicles, and also a meeting room. And of course, this office is repeatable, so we are able to apply it to every single floor of our building. First of all, before we begin, I want to make it abundantly clear that to follow this tutorial along, you will have to have your very own office building. It doesn't really matter what sort of office building, as long as you have enough space that this office will fit in, then you have a few options. But of course, this was specifically designed for my skyscraper, which you will be able to find a tutorial for in the description below and likely the top of the comment section as well. And now that we've established that, here are all of the materials that we will use throughout this tutorial. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Step one, we are going to come towards the back right hand side of our room. And we want to begin by making a couple of cubicles. So the first cubicle is going to start here in this position, and we're going to place one, two, three blue terracotta extending out from this glass. One, two, three. Now, a little bit further along towards the front of the build, we want to have the exact same thing. So leave a gap of one, two, three, and then place one, two, three, one, two, three. On the top of the cubicles, we are going to place some white carpet. We are also going to give the cubicles desks. So this is going to be a smooth quartz slab placed in front of the bottom row of the top of the blue terracotta. We have to have chairs. These can be placed away from the desk. They can be placed to the side of the desk. I'd probably place them either straight next to the desk in the middle or one row away. And these are made using dark oak stairs and we are going to place dark oak trapdoors on the sides, just like this. The next thing that we have to do is make a computer. So this is relatively easy. The computer will go in the center of the desk and we're going to place a painting on the actual cubicle itself with a polished blackstone pressure plate in front. And of course we are making these cubicles simultaneously as they are pretty much the same. They're, they're very, very similar if not the same. So we are going to simply place the painting in the middle of the cubicle, then the pressure plate in front. I'm going to hang a lantern hanging off of this wall, kind of in the center of the office building. You might even choose to place another lantern here on this wall, kind of once again in the center of the office building, just on the front, so that it kind of matches and it provides a good enough amount of light. So on the desks, you can place flower pots if you like, and I'm just changing these around a little bit just so that it's a little bit more realistic. And we are also going to, on the desks, you can choose to place something in the flower pot or you could have it as kind of like a pen part or stationary part. But I'm gonna grab an azalea, item frame, paper, and then for the next bit, we're going to need light gray concrete, brewing stand, we'll need the flower pot back, smooth quartz stair, light blue glass, we'll need the stone pressure plate, and even more. So as I said, you can choose to add an actual plant into the pot if you like, so that's what I'll do right there. And then for the rest of the desk, I figure it makes sense just to have an item frame with some paper on the desk, and feel free to shuffle the paper around a little bit. So in front of these cubicles, as there isn't really enough room for another one unless we place it against this cubicle, and I, I think it kind of throws the balance of the office off. We are going to have a water cooler slash drink station. So in the corner here, smooth quartz stair, left of it, two light gray concrete, 
Brewing stand on one concrete, flower pot on the other, light blue glass on top of the stair, stone pressure plate on top of the glass, and then let's just put some of this stuff away for a second here. We are going to grab the birch sign, the tripwire hook, and we should also consider working on uh, the rest of the office as well. So we'll need the light grey concrete again, we'll need uh, some bookshelves, we'll need the smooth quartz stairs, we'll need the smooth quartz slabs, we'll also need flower pots back, azalea painted, we actually need loads of stuff but we'll just start with that. So basically for the water cooler here we're going to place a tripwire hook in front of this uh, glass. Then below this, a birch sign just in front of that, and I think that that makes for a nice decoration. So, in the office, those are the two cubicles that we have, and the little sort of, uh, like, drink station. We have to make an actual, like, meeting room. So, this would be best, it would be best for us if we used actual solid smooth quartz block instead of slabs, but of course you can use both. And basically, we want to connect the middle of the office on the left to the middle of the office on the back. And we simply want a right angle of smooth quartz blocks, just like this, to connect the two together. We will be having a door here, so this is on the front of the office, just directly next to the wall. We want to have a couple of paintings as well, so these paintings are going to be placed against this wall here, and some simple one by one paintings will actually suffice. I actually placed um, the smooth. Shall we go for a bit of variation? I didn't expect that. There we go. That's better. And then, of course, we can also play some lights and stuff if we if we do so choose. But I'm also going to grab the red carpet whilst we're here, and I'm going to have a couple of rows of red carpet just leading pretty much just next to the cubicles from the front to the back. And I think that that looks pretty good. Um, in terms of lights, I'm actually whipping out an old favourite. Good old torches, I think, would look nice above these pictures, and it kind of creates a little bit of ambience, and it stops the use of too many torches. So. In the corner of the room, so this, this is kind of like that side of the office complete, we're now working on the left side. I think it's important to establish how we get in between floors, and it's quite easy. In the very front left-hand corner of the office, we're going to have a smooth quartz block, in front of that, a smooth quartz stair. And then, tapering upwards from behind the smooth quartz block, we simply want to have, and it's easier to see from the side, we simply want to have stairs cascading up towards the second floor. And this is how we get in between floors. So just to show you, like we, we literally just keep repeating this over and over again, so on and so forth, as we get all the way up to the top of the tower, so that's how that works. In front of the stairs, on every level, we will be placing a row of three light grey concrete like this. On the bottom floor, you're actually able to stretch it to a fourth row because there's actually like no reason to be able to get behind the stairs, whereas on the other levels, I'll point out that if you try and extend it a fourth row, then you will not be able to get um, between the meeting room and the rest of the office. So we leave this row alone for all of the other um, for all of the other floors, and you're going to want to take special care to remove and change any blocks as you see fit. So like I'd, I'd have this wall be like grey concrete, and I'd try and suppress as much oak planks as you can. Anyway, the ground floor, and let's just get rid of this row of light grey concrete, just, just to make it a little bit simpler, um, because this is how it will be for every other floor. We're going to have a row of bookshelves in front of the bottom of the light grey, a couple of smooth quartz slabs on the left above the bookshelves, we're going to have a painting on the wall, flower pot, azalea, and also we need a desk in front of this. So the desk is actually the same width as the bookshelves. It starts off with an upside down stair, a couple of smooth quartz slabs, and then we're going to grab some more things. I think that we've got everything we need. Dark oak stairs, dark oak trap doors, we will need lanterns, we're also going to grab pressure plate, birch trap door, and we'll also grab a dark oak door, and we'll just leave it at that for now because we'll be heading inside there in a second. So, um, just behind the desk, dark oak stair with uh, dark oak 
uh, trapdoors either side. Um, on this desk here, we have to have a computer, so that's going to... So, you've got two options, like, you could have a closed laptop like this, or you can have the classic pressure plate with the trapdoor behind it, lantern to the side, and there you go. I mean, that is that is pretty much, like, how we get to every level. The This is the outer part of the office, and then for the inside of the office, I'm going to stick a door right here. We can head inside here, and we can work out exactly what we need. So, for the meeting room, the first thing that we are going to make is a table. This is going to be placed directly in the center of this wall here, and it's going to be made using a 2 by 3 set of light grey concrete. We are going to add a couple of chairs, so a couple of dark oak stairs will do on this side, and then on this side in the center, we'll have a more elaborate chair. The next thing that we're going to do is in the center of the wall on the back, we'll place a couple of end rods on top of each other, stick a brown glazed terracotta, and that looks like a floor lamp. In the corner, we'll have a solid polished andensite block, and next to it, a polished andensite stairs just placed on the ground. Birch trap door on top of the solid block with a blackstone button in front, and this is going to look like a printer, and it will look even more so a little bit later on. On the table here, we can place a laptop in the form of a closed down birch trap door, and we can also grab flower parts, lanterns, paintings, loom, white banner, white dye, red dye, and we can have like a we can have a lantern on the table here, a couple of flower parts. We can place a painting on this wall here, so a simple two by one. Uh, we can use a white banner and stick it extending up out of the andensite, so that looks like a paper that's like going in or out of the printer. It takes a little bit of interpretation. And on this wall here, I like the idea of having like a graph of some sort. So I'm going to throw down a loom, white banner in there. Red dye, bottom left corner to top right corner using the red dye, throw the white dye in there. Then we're going to make the top half of the banner white, grab that, take that out. New banner in there, we're going to have a horizontal row of um, red straight from the middle of the banner, grab that, take that out. Put another white banner in there and we're going to have a diagonal row, bottom left corner to top right corner, take that out, put that in there. And then white dye and we're going to make the bottom half of the banner uh, white. So let's destroy the loom. And then on this wall here, we will have this is the order the first banner that we made, the second banner that we made, and then the third banner. They're a little bit messed up in the hotbar. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's not really too much else to it. That's that's kind of the entire office building complete. And I would like to point out that this floor is 100% fully repeatable. So once we have done this to the first floor, I would go ahead and do that to every single other floor, leading all the way up to the top of your office building. And it will look as good on every other floor as it does the first. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have and you aren't already, please do subscribe to the channel and click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do like the look of the world that I have been building in, I don't know how much of it you have managed to see, Stream City is available to download, Java Edition only, for all of my channel members. If you are a channel member and you're unaware of this, or if you would like to become one for this perk, channel members are provided a brand new fresh download link for Stream City every single time it is updated. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye!